Hello, hello, hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video for you and I will be working in my large regular dilutions journal. And the things that I will be using is the boulder stencil. The uh, this is quite an old stamp, but it's called Doodle Blooms and some paints. Uh, Postbox Red, Tangerine Dream, Lemon Zest, Cut Grass, London Blue, and Crushed Grape. Of course, I will use a black and white Posca pen, and I also will use a black shimmer, black marble shimmer paint, and I will make an different kind of background than what you're used to. I will make a rainbow background and yeah, have fun watching! Bye! Okay, so I'm going to speed up the video and before I'm going to paint this page I will use a white piece of paper to protect the rest of the journal and because the post box red was a little bit thick I diluted it with some water and I'm just using a regular brush doesn't matter what you use so if you wonder why I have been absent for so long from YouTube then I will tell you um, the reason why I've been absent is because I was very sick. Uh, let's see, um, about two years ago, out of nowhere, I was getting a anaphylactic shock. And the crazy part is that I got it from eating tomato sauce, which I make myself with my own recipe pure, fresh, and no um, crazy stuff in it. And it's something that I've been making for years and it's always okay, never had a problem. And now all of a sudden I, went, I, I become very, very sick. And it took me a week to recover. And after that, it went from bad to worse. And in the end, about six, seven months later, I could only eat Blueberries, oatmeal, broccoli, chicken, and sweet potato. I lost a lot of weight during that time and I was very tired. Um, my body was very painful and my facial skin was completely open. Um, open with acne and my family doctor said that I was at exaggerating that I was just having a panic attack and um, that I just had to eat and because she couldn't help me she, dis she didn't know all of these symptoms and that got me to do some searching on Google and um, a friend of mine ha who has a histamine intolerance guided me into the right direction and through my work um, I talked to somebody else who is a doctor in the uh, who specialized in allergies told me when he heard my story he told me that I, my symptoms looks like MCAS and I was like what on earth is MCAS so I started to uh, do some research and MCAS stands for mast cell activating syndrome it's a auto autoimmune disease which will not um, be it, it's not curable uh, sorry guys for the camera being weird um, the disease that I'm having is not curable it's um, you have different stages Thank goodness that the the disease that I'm having is um, the less aggressive one. Um, 
Yes, so when when I discovered that my symptoms looks a lot like MCAS, I went again to Google because the disease that I'm having is not a lot acknowledged by a lot of doctors in the Netherlands. There's just like two or three doctors who knows the disease. And that made me decide to go to Germany because in Germany they have a way better care system than in the Netherlands. So I went to a company who could help me to um, to do all the paperwork so I could go to the right um, hospital in Germany. And I went to Krefeld and I um, get help from a very, very good professor. And he believed my story, he recognized everything and he was like, it sounds like MCAS. And after doing some tests, nothing came out and that is the problem that i'm having and i still have to go back to germany for the third time because every test that i'm doing there they can't find anything in my body not in my blood not in my organs nothing so the professor told me that i am a special case <laughs> so yeah he wants me to come back and uh, i'm not looking forward to it but hey it's for a good cause um yeah, it. Um, when I came back from the first time from Germany, I've changed from family doctor because um, this was not the first time that I was having a disagreement with my family doctor. We had a couple of more fights. <laughs> she, yeah, I'm not going into that. Um, I went to another family doctor, and his first reaction was, "Okay, this is not this is not looking good. When I look at you, I know that you're ill. How can I help you?" So I've explained to him the whole story. I went that I went to Germany, etc., etc., and what the professor thinks. And he says, "What kind of medicine do you need?" I was like, um, "Nelcrom." And he was looking it up in the system, and he's like, "Oh, but this is not this is not exciting or dangerous. I can give you this. This is just some uh, sugar and." some acids, some special acids to calm down the mast cells. So he prescribed me those medicines and from the day that uh, I'm, I'm using those medicines, I can eat again, almost everything. So I'm so grateful for it. And uh, yeah, it's the, the only few things that I can't eat are tomatoes. I still can't eat tomatoes, unfortunately. Uh, I can't eat um, chocolate and I can't eat uh, chocolate tomatoes and potatoes I, ca I can eat sweet potatoes but not regular normal potatoes so no french fries no, ch no um, chips uh, oh yeah, and bananas is also a no-go so no tomato sauces um, yeah that's quite uh, that's not funny I know but I'm now I'm used to it like pizza, I make my own pizza with a gluten-free crust because I can't handle gluten anymore and I have to also have to be careful with the milk products. Um, yeah, but you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. The only thing that really sucks is that I can't do any exercise anymore because even if I, I do too much exercise, um, it can activate the mast cells, which can lead to a anaphylactic shock. So that really sucks because I miss doing my sports. I used to do uh, Aikido, but unfortunately I had to stop. Um, yeah, that is something that I really, really miss and that really sucks. But hey, okay, there are other things. Because I got a new puppy from a December last year, beginning December, beginning of December, yeah, and he is a mix of a German Shepherd mix Border Collie. He is so smart and so sweet and very active, <laughs> like an ADHD dog, <laughs> but he's the best thing. And he and my other one, my old guy, of almost 13 years old are best friends so I can't complain he is the best they both are the best 
So uh, I have my hands full on them. So I walk a lot. And um, I can't complain. Now with the medicine, my physics are pretty, my body is pretty stable. So yeah. Energy is coming back slowly and now I can have the energy to craft again, as you can see here. Okay, back to the page. That was my story. <laughs> if you have any questions, please ask and I will be happy to uh, help you. Um, okay, back to the page. I am changing the foam because the foam that I tried to use was all dried up. The, uh, the, yeah. Um, the shimmer paints, um, I love them. This, these are the dilution shimmer paints, and with the bowler stencil, just keep it in place and just spread it everywhere. Just be sure that you don't shift the stencil. Oh yeah, and be sure that the first layer of paint is completely dry because if it's not dry, then the black and the colored paint will mix each other up and that will not make you happy. Okay, the other thing that I'm working is working on is my website. And my website isn't quite finished yet, but I hope it will be soon. And the things that you will be finding on my website is the adventures of my dogs, of course. Uh, there's a lot of information to be found about my disease. And you can find my artsy adventures as well on my website. And the plan is to have uh, free printables on the website as well. Because I have a lot of drawings that I would like to share with you. And I'm curious what you will do with them. So, yeah, so that's that. And the next thing is the coloring part of the flowers. And it's a, this is a long, long process. So I will stop talking and I will put on some music for you because frankly, I don't have anything interesting anymore to say. So I won't bore you with my, uh, talk with my, with my boring talk <laughs> so uh, oh yeah I would inform you the colors and the colors that I'll be using are Tensilo Dream, Cut Grass, Bubblegum Pink, Lemon Zest and London Blue so these are just regular dilutions inks and a water brush
Okay, so for the doodling part, I've used the following stencils. I've used Martha's Matte, Betsy's Block, Corchester, and Behave. And I'm just doodling the doodles with a white Posca pen. And when this is all done, I am going to pick out some collage. That's the following step. And to be honest, I have no idea what which pack I will, I will be using. I just grab some Delusions collage and I just pick out what I want. Because I already fussy cut everything. It's just a matter of picking, auditioning something and yeah, just have fun. Okay, so this is how the page will look. This is what I came up with and now it's time to glue everything down onto the page. As you can see the flowers has also been glued down onto the page on, on the sides. And I'm just using a regular glue stick, nothing special really. I don't know what it is why I'm always cleaning after I've used glue. I think I, it's because I like to work on a clean surface because I don't want to have any pieces of glue stick onto the collage. More cleaning. <laughs> um, yeah. And when everything is stuck down to the page, I will outline it with a black Posca pen. And the reason why I do that is because it will stand out a little bit more. Because it's quite a busy page, so I need the collage to, to um, pop a little bit. And if you want, you can do all the collage, but I'm going to leave it like it is. And we're almost done. I only need to pick out some um, a quote. And the head. I'm going to draw the neck with my pen. So Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. More cleaning, more cleaning. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, the next part is the quote. I am using the the stickers, the dilutions, back chat stickers, the black, the black one. And I am choosing the following quote. I thought I couldn't love you less, you proved me wrong. And I'm going to cut them up and I will outline them with a white Posca pen to make them stand out a little bit more. And that's the final page. Yep, it's done. I hope that you like this video and be sure to follow me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will help me a lot. I will put the Instagram link down below as well as all the materials that I've used. And I hope to see you at the next video. Have a great time everybody. Happy crafting and see you at the next one. Bye bye.